Good evening. Uh, hi, hi, Shumara. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you very well. Okay, perfect. There is no issue with the microphone tonight. Great. <laughs> That's cool. I'm happy because if something fails, imagine. Terrible. How are you doing, Shumara? Doing good today? I'm doing good. Uh, thank you, but the only things I want you to help me is that in the exercise number three. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I've been seeing uh, some questions about those assignments, uh, doubts as well. Uh, don't worry. The class is going to be about that. About... I have been typing many ways to to put the sentence in always this world. All right. Okay. I, I know that you have kind of some issues, but the class is about that. We are going to be practicing how to make those indirect sentences. Don't worry. We Thank are going you. To check. Okay. Good. Uh, Hector. Hi, Hector. Welcome. Good morning, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Oh, Sorry. Good morning. No, morning. Until tomorrow, my friend. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Okay. How do you do? What? How How do you do? It's It's like how are you? How do you do? Okay. Uh, great, teacher. Because I I find. Okay. I perfect. Find. Perfect. I don't sick. Ah, uh, yeah, because. If you are sick, is that terrible? Yeah, teacher. You suffer something. Okay, great, director. I'm glad. I'm glad. Uh, Damaris. Hello, Damaris. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, welcome, Damaris. How is the bakery working? Uh, again, teacher. How how is how is the the bakery working? Ah, it was uh, busy. Busy day today. Yes. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, thank you for joining. Um, let's see. I'm gonna begin sharing my my computer monitor in this moment. Don't worry. Okay, uh, let's see, I am projecting, I am projecting already. You see the picture, what I have? Yes, you see? See the picture? Yes, teacher, yes. Yes, I all see. right, okay, good, good, good. Let's see. Opening class number, class number, Oh, come on, come on, come on. If it's not the microphone, it's the presentation. Come on. Okay, just give me one moment. I'm going to close it and reopen this class. No worries. Okay, let's see class number seven. Hey, tomorrow we are in the middle, in the middle of the course tomorrow. Class number eight. Pretty fast. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna close that. Da, 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 da. Okay, a uh, topic is about the indirect requests. Example, uh, let's see, Shomara. And the example. Yep, the example sentence. Can you tell him? Can you tell Jim? Uh, to be on time next class. Okay, thank you. This is a simple indirect question or request. Hey, can you tell Jim to be on time the next class? Let's check. Indirect request, question, and uh, let's see. Hector, can you read that, please? Yeah, to check. Why do we make incorrect question? Indirect. Indirect. Indirect question, sorry. Okay. The question is why do we make them? 
why is the reason or what are the reasons we make in the red question? We have number, we have two. Number one? To be polite, we all know, all know people. All right. When people are not present. Okay, or when people are not, are not present. present. Okay, in the previous ah. example, we have this person talking with the girl. Where is Jim? Where is Jim? Guys, I think yeah, is the is the is the is the she? Is uh, she? Uh, uh, Jim is not there. Jim is maybe walking to the school. Correct. Jim is not in the conversation. The conversation is with two. He is the first person and she is the second person. But he says, he says, hey, uh, maybe this is um, Elmer, for example, and this is Sarah. Elmer tells Sarah. Sarah, can you tell Jim to be on time next class? Correct, because Jim is not in there, in present, in that conversation. All right? So we have to, to be polite with people, with unknown people, and when people are not present. That's why we make indirect questions or requests. Okay. Let's see. Please help me, Damaris, with example, uh, with this one, with the direct question. Direct question? What time is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, it's uh, nine and seven minutes in this moment. That is very di direct because Damaris made me the question to me. Example, let's see, in the indirect. Indirect what? question, could you tell me what time it is? All right. Could you tell me what time? What time? It is. It is. It is. Uh, it is, is, but in the direct question is, is it? And the indirect question? It is. It is. Is that correct? Correct or not? Yes, it's right. It's yes, right. it's correct. It is correct. Okay, we are going to study more about the order. Oh, the teacher. Yes, it is correct. The question it's is correct. Right. It is correct. Okay. We are gonna check that in a moment. Okay, let me open the link. This link, you will have it in the presentation, guys. Don't worry, you will have it there. Okay, the link is about indirect? Indirect question. Questions. Okay, pretty much what we are studying. Okay. Thank you, uh, Nelly. Welcome, Nelly. Great seeing you. Let's see, David. Hello, and Thank Daniel. You. Welcome, guys. Okay, let's see. Have a look at this conversation. Okay, let me see. Ah, okay, just a few sentences. All right. Let's see, uh, David. You're gonna be. You're gonna be the person that says me, okay. and. Let's see, Nelly, you are the person in the street. Imagine you are in the street. Okay, whenever you want to begin. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest station is? Certainly, it's a land that, that's right on the right. Thank you. And... Do you know if there is a supermarket near here? Yes, there's one next to the station. Thank you, Thank you very much for your help. Okay, pretty good. The conversation is simple. 
¿sí? Indirect. Indirect question. Let's see. And do you know as well? Do you know? It's very polite. Kind of polite. Okay. Let's see. Please, uh, Damaris, the reading, please, uh, of this paragraph. I use, I use indirect question when I am asking for helping the street because they are very polite. Indirect question I start with a phrase like, could you tell me? Or do you know, for example? For example, okay. Uh, phrase. 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 Yes, it's like like this. Uh, phrase. Phrase. Teacher, I have a question. Phrase. All right. Yes. yes. In the in the first word that you said, you put, what time is it, and what time it is. So I can say it in the two in the two modes, what time it is and what time is it. Uh, yes, those cool things are if I want to use the polite form. Okay, your question is if you can use this one only, only the phrase, what time is it? Single, single, cool. You can make it, but remember that if you are on the street and you are lost, for example. What is, um, what is, let's say, what way is better, impolite or polite? It depends on the situation, I think. But remember, you are lost on the street. Oh, the polite part, yeah. Correct. If you are lost, you need help from someone. So... No, but, but I'm talking about, for example... Here in the class with the friends, uh, can I say what time is it? Or I can use to what time it is? Both. Oh, okay. What time is it? But if you are going to use is it, this is direct. Hey, uh, let's see. Uh, let's show Mara. Hey, show Mara. Hello. Yes. What time is it? It's 9.13. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, I got it now. Okay. Okay. You, or, you use is it when it's direct and it is when it's for everybody. Precisely. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Remember that indirect is for to be more polite. That's it. To be more polite with people. That's it. But you can use any or the other. Okay, no question, no problem, sorry. Okay, that's it. Okay? Yes? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, perfect, perfect. More questions before going on? Okay, let's see. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you this this a uh, part where is this chart i know that you have some trouble maybe in the assignments in the exercises and that's what we are going to do when you have direct questions and you want to convert them into indirect questions we have to do uh, some steps and the steps are these ones step number one is oh sorry step number one check the tense we need to identify the tense of the direct question what is the tense in this direct question what is the tense? What times? The time. The grammatical tense. The grammatical tense. It is in present. It is in present, but we have two. We have two. 
simple present Gerund, Gerund. The microphone, thanks, thanks. No, we have two. We have simple present tense. In the simple present tense, but of the verb? To be. Of the verb to be, correct. We have two. Okay, okay, Carla, don't, don't worry. Okay. So we have to identify the tense in the direct question. Okay, step number two. Hmm? Modal the answer. Modal for for the answer. You need to you need to check. I I'm going to use. Could you tell me? I'm going to use. Uh, can for example, all the models can, would, would, etc. You need to check which one is better to use. Next, next to check subject the subject. For example, um, what is the subject in the question? Uh, let's see. How old? How old is he? What is the subject? He. He. he correct. Now, make it indirect. Try, try to make it indirect question. Can you tell me how old he is? Can you tell me how old? He? It's him. He. Like that? Like this? Yes. She. Why? How old is him? Ah, okay. Guys, <laughs> this is the way. This is the correct way. Why? You are using the moral. The moral can, can you tell me? How old? He. Subject? He. And the verb to be. He is. Remember the affirmative? The affirmative verb to be? I am. Next? What is the next? You are. Correct. You are. Next? He. She is. She is. She is. Correct. She is. It is. It is. That's right. Next. We are. Uh, you are because you, you have you singular and you plural. This is singular. Singular and plural. And this number two is plural. So we have two. We have two. Plural. Next. We are correct. We are and finally they are. and they are correct. And they are. When you when you make indirect questions, it's like a family. It's like if you say he is, check. He is. It's like a family. That is the order. Subject and auxiliary, verb to be the auxiliary. This is the correct way, but we are gonna check, don't worry. Okay, uh, in this chart, we have the verb. Tense. The verb tense. Number two, we have. Direct question. The direct question. And in third place, we have. Indirect question. The indirect question. Okay, help me. Let's see. David, uh, David, please. What is number one? The verb tense. Verb tense, present simple, would be. Would be. Uh, an example. Is he Spanish? Can Al you tell me? Uh -huh. Yeah. Can you tell me if he is Spanish? What is the difference between the direct question? In the indirect question, what is the, the, polite, the polite form? 
Yes, in the context, yes. That is the difference. We make with uh, modal verbs. Okay, we have two reasons. Not polite, polite. No modal verbs. Yes, modal verbs, correct. But we have a third thing in the difference. The difference is that in the direct question, the verb to be is number one. Is he Spanish? And the indirect question, check. It is? Subject plus verb to be. Plus the verb to be, correct. Check, moral, uh, in the document appears. Check, check the tense, moral, next, the subject, you, the subject is you. Next, the clause if, if applies. La clause if si aplica, because you can have ing clauses as well. Next, what is next after the clause? If next he, he that is. is the subject, he is the subject. After the subject, you have verb to be the verb to be that is an auxiliary. Verb to be is an auxiliary, correct. And the rest is the complement. The complement. Those are the seven the seven steps. Let's call them to check from direct to indirect question. Let's try with another tense. Can you read this uh, second sentence? Uh, let's see, Daniel. Just just read it. Don't okay. worry. The structure. Uh -huh. This one, this one, this question. Was he late for the meeting? Was he late for the meeting? What is the step number one? Step number one? Check the tense. We have to check the tense. What is the tense? In past simple. With or about? With, mm, with about the to verb be. to be. Because the yeah. verb to be is was, right? In this, this is in, yes, it's in past. It's in past, correct. We need to identify the correct tense. Okay. Number one. Okay. Number two. Number two is the model. The model uh, in this end. case. In this case is for the indirect question. Okay. And the the model in this case is can. Can correct. Can. Can. Or you can and, use uh, food. You can use uh, wood, etc. But in this okay. one. You have to use can. Okay. okay. Subject after the, the model. Subject. He. You. Ah, no, in the indirect. Indirect. Is you. Yeah, in this case, is you. Is you, correct. This is the subject. The subject, you. Can you, can you tell me, right? Can you tell me? After the subject. Number uh, uh, This is the if or in ing. If applies, if if applies, as okay. if he applica, right? If it doesn't apply, it means that is ing, signification ING. is ing, all right? Because we have three uh, or two in these cases. We have three structures, but the main ones are if and ing. Uh, after if, after okay. if. Is the other, the, the next subject in this case subject. is. All right. Uh, if he is he after the he. subject, if. the verb and actually auxiliary, the auxiliary verb that you are using in the direct question was in the past simple. Ah, but check. You need to say. Can you tell me he if was. if he was, and finally, mm -hmm. finally the complement. 
the complement is exactly late. the same. The same thing. Late for the meaning. Late for the meaning. Correct. Okay. Those are the seven steps that you need to follow in order to answer or convert from direct question to indirect. Let's check another tense. Uh, for example, I have this one. Can you read it, uh, Jocelyn? Jocelyn, Jocelyn? Hello? Uh, Gabriel, maybe? Gabriel, Gabriel? Come on, come on, guys. Nelly, can you read it? Where, where are you watching TV at 3 p.m.? Were you were you watching TV at 3 p.m.? What is the tense? What's the tense? The grammatical tense in this direct question. What's the tense? Past continuous. Ah, simple past. Ah, because you read it. Porque lo leyó aquí, right? Past continuous. Yes. This is simple past. No, it's past continuous. Continuous. But with the verb to be. Check. Where are you? Where are you watching TV? Okay. Where are you? Where is a bird to be in simple past? Yes or no? Check. I am, you are, but this is present. Simple past? Simple past of I am? I was. I was. Simple past? You were. You were. Okay. You were. Simple past? He was. He was. It was. Uh -huh. Correct. Very good. Next. Simple past. You were. Correct. We were. Correct. We were. Correct. We were. We were. They were. They were. They were. They were. That's it. They That's were. why it's simple past, but verb to be. Past continuous in the verb to be. Okay. How can you transform it in the indirect? Okay, Jocelyn. Uh -huh. The indirect question is, can you read it, guys? Can you, can you? Can you, can tell, you tell me? me? Can you tell me? What do you do, The restaurant is e? closing now. Oh, no, sorry. No, uh, no, no, this is other something. I got lost. I got lost. Uh, I was in this one, right? Okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Hey, where I was. No, it's uh, watching TV at 3 p.m. Watching TV. 3 a.m. Watching TV. 3 a.m. Uh, right? 3 p.m. Yeah, okay. Can you tell me? If you were watching TV at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Okay. In the indirect question is, where are you? Indirect? You switch. You were kind of changing the, the, the position. Correct. You only change the position like if you had affirmative. Como si tuviera affirmative. Check. They were, we were, you were. Like in the affirmative. Okay. Let's check. Uh, okay, this one. Has. Has Lucy been to Lucy. Mexico? Been to Mexico. Has Lucy been to Mexico? What is that tense? What is present that? perfect. Present perfect. Present perfect. Why? Why is present perfect? Why? Because we use has been for being. Has been. Ah, been. because we use the auxiliary has. And has is because Lucy, right? Is the third person, correct? And the participle, the participle of the verbs. Okay, very good. Now, what is the indirect question of this? The indirect question is? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Is, is if Lucy has been to Mexico? Lucy has been to Mexico. Check. Mexico. Has Lucy, 
thin. But in this one is Lucy Models. has been. Has been. You only change the position and that's it. All right? But first we need to check. Again, we need to check the, the tense of the sentence, the model we are going to use for the answer, the subject, if or if you have ing, again the subject, the auxiliary of the question, the auxiliary is in this case has, has correct, because we are talking about the present perfect. All right. And in the complement is the same. Check has been to Mexico. Has been been to Mexico, for example. Okay, let me see. I'm going to cover the tense, uh, but I, I don't think that it works. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Uh, -da -da -da. Okay, I'm going to cover the tense. Let's check uh, da -da -da -da, this one. Can you read it? Oh, can you read this one? Were you watching TV at 3 p.m.? Were you watching TV at 3 p.m.? What is that tense? Past continuous. Past continuous. With? Okay. ING. With, with ING. Yes, past continuous is uh, ING. But. The verb to be. With the verb to be. All right, very good. With the verb to be. Okay. For example, you have this one. Future simple with. Will. Will. will will for example if you have a question can you read it uh Xiomara? the direct question uh, will she start her new job next week all right the indirect can you tell me if she will start her new job next week kind of similar right Pretty much yeah. very, very similar. But in this one, you use the model. Okay? The model, correct. The model, and you change the position from will she to yes, the position, new position. She will. She will. All right, that's it. And we can continue checking more sentences uh, depending on the tense. Future continues, for example. Can you read it? Will Lisa be meeting the bus later? Will Lisa be meeting the bus later? What about if you translate this? What is the meaning? If you translate it, si la traduce, what's the meaning? Will Lisa be meeting the boss later? Lisa estará reunida. Se va a reunir Lisa con el jefe más tarde. Se va a reunir. Lisa llegará tarde a la reunión con el jefe. Correct, because will is future, but meeting, will be meeting. Se estará reuniendo, right, in, in a specific context. Okay, in the indirect, can, Can you tell, tell me if Lisa, Lisa will be meeting the boss later? If Lisa will be, correct. Will be meeting the boss later? Yeah. Pretty much the same complement. The same complement. Okay. Guys, you will have all this information to check because it's a lot, I know. But the important thing is those seven steps. Check the tense, the moral for the answer, subject, if, or ing, depending, subject, auxiliary, and the complement that is pretty much the same. It is repeated, repeated. Okay, let's practice. Let's see. We have more, blah, blah, blah. 
we have three links that we can use. I'm going to open the first one. Uh, indirect questions, exercise one. What is the indication, uh, please? Da -da -da -da. Hector, indication for this exercise. Okay. Change the direct question into direct question. You can, you tell me. All right. It's important to read the indications, guys. Change the direct questions into indirect questions. Use. Use. Can you tell me? Can you can tell, you tell me? me? Yeah. In these exercises, the only option is can you tell me? But in your in the portal or in the platform, you have. Uh, do you mind if? Would you would you mind if? Can you tell me if you have more than one option? But that is in the platform. Pretty much, this is the only one. Can you tell me? Okay. Number one, let's see. -da 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 -da. Daniel, Daniel Alejandro. The can you read the direct question? Sorry, the direct question is where does she play tennis? Okay. Where where does she play tennis? Step number one. What is the step number one? The tense. We need to check, check the, the tense. tense. Yeah. All right. What is the tense? Is present. present. Simple present tense. Correct. All right. Very good. Done. Uh, okay. Model. Model that I'm going to use for the answer. Can you tell me? Correct. Because the indication tells you. Use. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? What is next? Where does she play tennis? Uh, where, where, where? Uh, where she plays. Where tennis. she? Where she? Play tennis. Play tennis. She's... Okay. Uh, like this one. Like this one. Check it. Check it out. Is that correct? Can you tell me? Where, where she's played tennis. Uh, where she she is. She's playing tennis. She is. Why why is Hector? Do you see where to be in this part in the direct question? Do you see where to be? Yes, in where. This is not yes. where to be. This is <laughs> wh word. Maybe it does. Ah, because that is the auxiliary, okay? But this is for the direct question. So, I no don't see to be. no verb to be, correct. No verb to be. You don't see verb to be? She don't use it. Tennis. Correct, don't use it. If you don't see it, no need. Si no lo ve, no hay necesidad, right? Can you okay. tell me where she played? Uh, like this? Play. Okay. Ah, you mean please? Yes. Ah, okay. Let's check. Let's check. Oh. Yes. For the auxiliary. Team. Ah, all right. Ah, okay. Don't forget the rules about the simple present tense in the indirect questions. Don't forget the rules. Because after the subject, you need to conjugate the verb according with the with the verb. I play you. You. Uh -huh. play. You play. She. Plays. She plays with, it. with the letter S. Correct. And co okay, and that is that is correct. Okay, pretty good. Let's do uh, uh, the next one. Uh, Ada, 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 is Ada in class? Ada? No? Yes. Ah, okay, there you are. Okay, can you read number two? Sentence number two. Does he live in Paris? 
Does does he live in Paris? Does he live in Paris? Uh, step number one. What is the tense? Check the tense. Present. Present. Simple present tense. Simple present. Simple present. All right. Because check the auxiliary. There it is. Does. Okay. Indirect. Indirect question. Can you tell me where? Where he where he lives in Paris. Where is he lives? No, why? Why he lives? Oh, no. Or where? No. no. Where? Where he lives in, in Paris. Paris. He lives. Paris. Lives with his in Paris. Paris. If he if he lives in Okay, let's see. Does he live in Paris? Can you tell me where he lives? In Paris, let's check. Oh no! No. What's Paris. wrong? Why he lives? Let's try with why. Let's try it with why. Okay. Okay. Now it's why there. Let's check. <laughs> no. If he, if he. Ah, all right. Let's see. If you tell me if he lives in Paris. Ah, okay, very good. Let's check. That's right. Yes. In this case, you are going to use if because the question says the direct. Does he live in Paris? But the indirect question, you need to use the clause if. Can you tell me if he lives in Paris? That's right. That's right. Okay, let's do number three. Three three words only. Three words. Is she hungry? Is she hungry? This is direct. Indirect. Could you tell me if she is hungry? Could, could, could you tell me? Could you tell me? Let's can you tell me? me? Ah, it says use. Can you tell can me? Can you tell me? Aha, okay, indication. Remember, can you tell me? Next. If she's hungry. If she's hungry. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, all right. Okay, it is correct. Pretty cool. All right, okay, in these ones, you are getting them. Check, where to be, where to be, that's it. Let's try number four, <laughs> three letters again. Very short question. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? Can you Direct. tell me what it is? Can you tell me? What is this? What, what is, it? is, it is. is this or this is? Uh, this, this is. is. Like this? this? This is. Okay, check. Change the position. Change it. This Switch is. It. Correct. This is. Let's check it out. All right, correct. That's it. Let's see. Five. Do they work in Canada? Okay, tense. Tense, tense. Present. Simple too. You tell Simple me. present, all right. Simple present. Now, convert it. Can you tell, Can me, you if tell they, me if they work if, in Canada? If, if they work. Is working. He, if they Work. work in Canada. Work in Canada, but like a question. Remember, because this are is working. Working. Uh, do you see ing? Do you see ing in the direct question? No, no, it's ing. No ing. No. That's why, guys. That's why is number one. Check the tense. Okay, pretty important. Check the tense. All right, let's check. 
correct. Okay, let's see. Pararam, pararam. Carla, 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 your turn. Carla, help me with number six. Can you read it? When do John and Luke meet? Okay, Carla, what is the tense? Present tense. The simple present tense, correct. Okay, next, next step, we are going to convert. Can you tell me? All right. When? When? John and Luke meet. When John and Luke meet. Let's check. Oh, okay. That is correct. Very good. That is correct. Let's see. Uh, okay, verb to be, verb to be, no, do, okay, okay, this one, number 10, direct. What does? Uh-huh. What Read. does he do at the weekend? What does he do at the weekend? Indirect. Can you tell me? Okay. What? What? Yes, you need to place the WH when you have it in yes. the question. Place it in the in the indirect question. What? What he? What do? he do at the weekend? What he, what he do does at the weekend? Weekend. Okay, let me. Okay, let me check it. Oh no, it's the not verb. the verb. The verb does. If, ah, okay, in this part, if he. Ah, that's right, right. That's right. Yes. Okay, remember, simple present. I do. I do the homework. I do. You. You do, you, you do, do, you do. He does, he does, he does, he does, he does correct. It does. He does. We? We does. We does. We, we does. No, it's not with us. We it's, do. We, we do. do. <laughs> okay. Not a problem. It's only practice. Yes, I know. And they? No. They, no. Correct. It's like that. If you remember this, you're going to use it in this part. If he does. Does. Let's check it out. That, now it's correct. Okay, pretty good. Let's try a, a more difficult, a more difficult one. Uh, -da -da -da. No, it's simple. Simple present done, where to be done, where, do, okay. Try this one. Read it, please. What is the nearest supermarket? Where is the nearest supermarket? But that is di direct, indirect. Can you tell me? Uh huh. Where? Is the right. nearest supermarket? Where is the nearest supermarket? No. Where okay. the supermarket is? Uh, let's check. <clears throat> no, there is something. Can you tell me where the nearest supermarket is? Ah, where? where the... Okay, I delete uh, the verb to be. Where the nearest Supermarket. supermarket is is okay let's check that's right all right okay you placed it in the correct in the correct order that's it let's see okay let's try number two let's find more 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 exercises okay check read the sentence please 
Did she go out last night? Step number one, we need to check the tense. What is the tense, guys? Past, past simple, simple past tense. tense, correct. Okay, now convert it, please. Convert it. Could you tell me? No, where? do you Can know? Can you tell me? Can you no. tell me? Ah, yeah, you know? guys, okay, just a moment. Read you know? indications. Change Do you know? the direct questions into indirect questions. Use. Do you know? Do you know? Okay. Do you know if she go out last night? Went out. Uh, do you know? Next. If she go out last night. If, if she went out last night. Went. Go or went? Yes. Went. 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 Both. The past. Went. Ah, okay. But you told me. Ah, is she for past teacher? Yes, yes, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, very good. So you are learning to identify every piece of information in a question. Tense, etc., etc., etc. If she went... Out last out night. Last, last night. Night. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, okay, pretty good. Correct. That's it. You need to use simple past because you have simple past. Very good. Let's try the this one. Uh -huh. Anybody? You you can read. Was they be the first to arrive? Was David the first to arrive? Right. Tense. Simple past. Do you know? Simple past. Do you know? Present, present continuous. Present continuous. Okay. No, past continuous. Past continuous. Past continuous. I have past, yes. Simple past. But I don't see I Simple ing. past. Yeah, right. simple pass. Simple pass of the verb to be correct. Okay. Uh huh. Indirect. Do you know if David was the first to arrive? Was the first to arrive? Okay. Let's check. Ah, okay, pretty good, correct, pretty good. That's it. All right, but what about if I have, um, if I have this? Lend me a uh, hundred dollars for tomorrow. A hundred dollars for tomorrow. I need a hundred dollars. This is the direct, direct, Question. Indirect. Can you? Can you tell me if you? Can you, you lend me? Can lend me? Lend me. Can you tell me? Can you tell me? Can you lend me? Lend me. May ah, you lend okay. me? Okay. Can you lend me? Lend me. me? Uh huh. One hundred dollars for tomorrow. All right. Okay. For tomorrow. Is this correct or not correct? I think that yes. Okay. One option. Another option? Would you mind? Ah, okay. Would you... Would you, would you mind? mind? Ah. Blending. Blending. Ah, okay. Blending. Very good. When you use, would you mind, the verb is ing. What is the verb in the sentence? What is the Lend verb? Lend. 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 Lend is the verb. Now, Lending. the verb with ing? Lending. 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 Me. Me. 100 for tomorrow. 100? 100 what? 100 dollars for Dollar. tomorrow. Yes. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, yes, guys, you have more than one option sometimes depending on the question that you have. 
In this case, you have question option one and option two. Another option? It is okay if you lend me $100 for tomorrow. Ah, okay, that's another option. If it is, if it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. Is it okay? It's or it is. So, okay, don't worry. Is it okay? Uh, teacher. Yes. The verb to be is first. Maybe. Is it okay? All right. Yes. It is okay. It is okay. It is okay. Ah, you mean if? Yeah. You mean Same. this? Ah, okay, correct. Is it okay? Next. If you lend me one hundred dollar for tomorrow. If you lend me, etc., etc., etc. Correct. Okay, this is another option. Very good that you have, depending on the question, right? But remember to do this, the steps. Check the tense, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, four minutes, let's do the last one. The last one, the last one, uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Only simple past. No, simple past, no. Okay, maybe number three. Number three. Uh, can I use me? Okay, let's try this one. Why? Why? But what is the condition that we need to use it? The condition. Um, condition. What do you mean? The, with... the, the instruction. Ah, the instruction. Oh, very good. Okay. Change I the uh -huh. Ah, Okay. Use. Okay. Could you, Could you tell me? Tell me. That's it. Uh, and we are in number four. Then Could you tell me? Why she must leave? Could you tell me? Why? Why she must leave? Correct. She must leave. Let's check. To leave. <laughs> Oh, what's going on in this one? Why she must to leave. Why she must. Or only she leaves. Leave. Ah, leave, leave. The, verb. Leave. the verb is incorrect. The verb. Aha, the verb is incorrect. Leave. Okay, let's see. Ah, one. Question. That is using must. Yeah, you need to use, oh, okay. remember, you need to use the auxiliary that is in the direct question. All right? You need to use the, the same auxiliary. But be careful. Be careful. Okay. We do and does, remember? Okay. All right, guys. You have the rest of the exercises. Please practice with them. They are great. And then move to the platform and complete the assignments. If you still have problems, send the screenshots about the exercise so we can help you out. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I have been writing the the examples and the platform for uh, for the same things in the same I can't. <laughs> okay. Indication. When you have a mistake, delete. Delete your answer. Refresh the website and type it again. All right. And finally, click on do that. Okay, Damaris is saying, yes. Does it work, Damaris? Funciona? Yes, teacher. All right, okay. Si usted pone una mala, no le salió, la borra, refresca la página, pone otra vez la, la, la answer con los cambios que considere 
y luego le da check. Ok, be careful with the spelling. También en el spelling importa ahí la puntuación, hay un period, etc. Ok, eh, guys, that's it. Eso es todo, that's it. Thank you for joining the class. See you tomorrow for the final class of the week. Ok, eh, write in the chat if you have questions or issues. All right, all right. You are. Good night. Okay, guys. Good night, teacher. Right. That's all clear. Good night, teacher. Okay, perfect. Night. Perfect, guys. I will be uploading the presentation so you have the links to practice. Bye bye. Bye, bye teacher. Good night. Take care. Bye, everyone. See you. Bye.